All right, YouTube. So today we're going to review the Bell Qualifier DLX Mirrors. Is it worth the money? Should you buy it? Is it overrated? Figure it out with this video. All right, we'll come back to it. This is the this is my newest film, the Bell Qualifier DLX Mips. Um, first, I'm gonna start off with the outer part of the helmet. It's a intermediate oval shaped shell, which is the head shape of most people. Um, ECE rated. That's big to get an ECE or snail rated helmet. Don't get a DOT rated helmet unless it's from a reputable brand. And I say reputable brand, I mean somebody like Bell, Show Me, HJC, um, Icon, somebody like that. If you go with the DOT, don't go get none of those. Amazon, eBay helmets, they get you because they have nice graphics, but helmets aren't worth anything. Um, don't do that. But this is an ECE rated helmet. Um, graphics, comes with amazing graphics. The graphic I have is the Isle of Man graphic. Um, this was an exclusive graphic for the Isle of Man race. So I had to get this one. I love the graphic. You can get solid graphics. Um, well, if it's solid, you don't have graphics. But you can get solids. You can get uh, ones with, you know, different type of types of graphics. Great. Um, ventilation. The ventilation is the same as the Next Level Up, which is the Bell Race Star. You have the brow vent, which is a great thing to have. You can feel that airflow through here. You have the two head vents, then you have the chin vent. Um, you also, within the inside, you have this uh, curtain that allows an air to flow and hit the visor, but also hits you right above the chin so you can continue to get airflow in there. It helps keep the shield from fogging up when it's really cold. Um, one of the best features of this helmet on the outer shell is the, on the front end, is the photochromic uh, shield. This shield transitions with the light of the sun um, and it does it wonderfully. You don't even notice the transition of the shield. Um, it's kind of like uh, people have transition glasses, but it doesn't get as dark as the transition glasses get. Um, as we continue to move on to the shell and the outer part of the helmet, on the photochronic shield, I, I'm going to let you watch this to tell you a little bit more about it. I say that's one of the biggest features on this helmet, which by itself is like 120 something, I think. Um, but all together, you can get this helmet with the shield and the outer shell graphics. I think they're on sale, certain graphics is on sale for 
around about four hundred dollars. Um, around back you have these vents. There's four of them. You have four vents um, that allows you to exhaust out the heat. So while you're wearing this helmet, you'll feel the air get pushed through these vents. You literally can feel the cool air coming across your head and it pushes out the back of this exhaust shield, which is, that's a great, great feature also. Um, as we move to the inside, you have this uh, material, this uh, premium, premium material. It's the fabric is so, it feels so nice. It's soft. This fabric feels good um, and the heat is moisture wicking. Even though I wear the cap, you know, the wicking moisture, this feels great on the inside. You have the D-ring buckles. Um, that's a good thing with the clip on the end. So that you don't have your strap just swinging. Then you have the chin curtain. Chin curtains, they make a, a big difference um, with the wind noise and the wind coming up through the helmet. And you also have this, this, you may not be able to see it from over there. Um, it's this green called MIPS. MIPS is multi-impact, multi-directional impact protection system. It's supposed to shift with your head as you, you impact if you fall. Um, I'm not a scientist on MIPS. I just know what it's supposed to do. So I'm going to let the scientists, the people who studied MIPS, tell you more about it. So that's news. That's another great feature of this helmet. That's a feature they're putting into race grade, their race grade helmets. Um, and I is is an added sense of safety. Um, they are glasses compatible, this helmet. It's but glass compatible. So you can just slide the glasses on, you don't gotta fight. You know how you have to fight with your your padding and get the glasses on, you can slide your glasses on, and there it is also um, speaker combat. If you get a Bluetooth comm system, you can put it on there and you already have the pockets for the speakers. So you won't have to have that discomfort if your padding is pushed to get your ear. Now, earlier versions had a actual cutout on this side for your Bluetooth settings, but it kind of died out with the earlier versions of the qualifier. Um, so you can get the basic version of this, which is the Bell Qualifier, which is still a good helmet. That's a good helmet. You can get that. The qualifier, the things that don't come with is the photochromic shield, the brow vent, and the MIPS. It doesn't come with the MIPS. Um, so basically you're, you're getting, you, you still get a good helmet if you're in that price range. This is more of their medium price range. Then after this, you go up to like the Race Star, which is their snail rated helmet. Um, now, to the questions everybody want to know, do I feel that this helmet is worth the money? Yes, I do. I really feel it's worth the money. I wear a size medium in this helmet. Um, it's not heavy at all. You know, a lot of people wonder about helmets being heavy to it for their head. It's not heavy at all. Um, it is well ventilated, well ventilated. It is so ventilated in the winter time. I switch. Uh, I don't wear this one because the ventilation is so good that you you feel the wind just all. It's a cool sensation. So that gives you a little bit of wind noise. Any well ventilated helmet is going to give you wind noise. Um, is it looks amazing. It looks amazing, especially when you get somebody, you're riding and you're like, 
Somebody like, whoa, hold up, wasn't your abdomen just dark? Wasn't your visor just dark? And you're like, I have a protein photochromic visor. Or when you get, you know, you're not that person that has the sweet visors out, you know, carry extra visor with you because you have this. And that is a great feature. And to get it in this full package, instead of paying a hundred some dollars for this and then the two hundred some dollars for just the shell, um, to get it all for like four something, um, it's actually, I don't know the price, but when I was looking for this and I researched it, it's cheaper to buy the whole package than to buy it separately. You know, some stuff is cheaper to buy separate, but it's cheaper to buy the full package. Um, I love it. I love the fit, and if you don't like the fit of the padding, they have different pads you can buy. You can buy a pad that goes into the larger pad, or you can buy a smaller pad. Um, it's just, it's different, man. It's, it's different for me. This is something new. I've always been a Scorpion person, uh, and I ventured out and tried Bell, and I like it. I think my next purchase is going to be the Bell Raystar. That's going to be my next one with the... Uh, Photochromic chill. Um, Cause this sold me on bail. This product sold me on bail. Um, so yeah, I think it's worth the money. I don't think it's overrated at all. Um, I actually think it's underrated. It's actually selling for less than it should be sold for. Um, so if you have the chance you catch them on sale, uh, you won't catch this graphic on sale. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, if you like the graphic, you won't catch this on sale. But you can catch some of the other graphics, which there are some other nice graphics on sale. I might have to catch myself actually not buying another one of these just for the graphics. But the this is another thing. If you end up buying this, or you end up buying a qualifier, a regular qualifier, the shield is interchangeable. Uh, this is the same helmet as a qualifier. Again, it's the same helmet, but it just has some added features. And like I said again, the added features, the brow vent, the photochronic chill, and the lips and the inside. Other than that, it's the same helmet. Um, so, buy it. It's worth the money. That's the verdict. It's worth the money. Just go buy it. Easy and simple. Um, so, thank y'all for watching. Catch you on the next video. And don't forget, like, subscribe to the channel have giveaways every month. This month, we're giving away a Scorpion EXO320 helmet, and you could be the person to win it. All you do is subscribe to the channel, and that's yours. If you win, it's yours. I ain't just giving all y'all one. It's if you win, it's gonna be yours. So, you have a chance to win. And you don't have to pay for it. Who doesn't want free stuff? It's free, most places you gotta pay. But, Thank y'all for tuning in and I'll see y'all next time.